playing without with, without our best defensive football player, and we still were a very good defensive team, especially in the first half. Obviously, we gave up a couple there in the second half, but it, it was scrambly, and you know they were pulling stuff. And I, you know, you give them a lot of credit for their competitiveness. They didn't, you know, yeah. it's 38-7 at the half. They didn't want going home. They were here to keep competing. <laughs> Both sides of the ball, you, you mean anybody watching, it was pretty dominant on their half, um, on their side of the field, you know, for the whole first half. So, but, you know, you, it's, it's easy to, to say, well, you know, here we go, we're done. But our kids didn't, so I, I'm really appreciative of that. I really thought it, in the first quarter, I thought we had to work for everything we got. And then I thought second quarter, we started hitting a couple things. When Brad hit the long trap, that made a difference. You know, I thought Joe got rolling a little bit in the second quarter, um, made some plays. You know, I think they were very conscious of Daniel. Last yeah. game, he had he had 200 yards against him. And, and so I think they were very conscious of him on the edge. And, and you know, that helps us in other areas. <laughs> hard sometimes to, to go in and think, well, we're going to see if we can battle back, and, you know, and they didn't quit. So I'm um, very proud of that and uh, the effort that they gave in the second half. We played better on both sides of the ball, you know, and who knows? I, mean, I don't know what to attribute that to, but I'd like to say for right now that our kids just came out fighting. Good turn. Good it's work for the field, and, and, you know, sometimes that's a good way to play. Um, Certainly, as we move forward against some of the offensive opponents that we're going to play against, Catholic Central, for instance, um, if we can have those kind of drives, that helps. Yeah.